me just talk uh, briefly about this problem. It's always been a classic tricky one for students. They're not exactly sure what's being asked here. So the idea is a diagram is being provided with enough information to find some things that are congruent or equal. So like in my uh, example here, you can see um, this radius here and this radius here. Those two must be equal. So that would allow me to say R P is congruent to S P. Now that's a, a statement of congruence and then all I have to do is convert that to equality. R P then is equal to S P. So the first one is a statement about objects. This object is identical to this object. And then in the second case, this measurement is equal to this measurement. So if we back up and look at the second diagram, I've got a little bit different situation there. Um, I have um, kind of um, an arc that's created. Uh, you can see the arc here uh, and the arc here. And I guess I realized that once again, I see the kind of the circle hiding in behind there. And again, would establish that these two things are equal. So AE is congruent to FE. And that would imply also by the definition of congruence that their measurements must also be equal. But also, because those are radii of a circle, they must be equal. So what you're doing is find a relationship stated in terms of congruence and, con and then also stated in terms of equality.